the ingenious meaning behind red balls on power lines, and how they've saved countless lives. You can't miss them when you look up. Those bright red, orange and white spheres hang from the power lines overhead like huge Christmas baubles. You can see that they're spaced perfectly apart too. But while that neat pattern is obviously by design, the balls themselves aren't just there for show. They have a purpose, and a rather ingenious one to boot. So, what purpose do these brightly colored, perfectly sized and evenly spaced balls have to say to passers-by? If you don't yet know, there's a good chance that you're not in the industry, and it may not be the reason you're thinking of, either. These balls come in a variety of colors, too. At first, the go-to hue was red, but experts transitioned to using bright orange later on as their default. Still, you may still see crimson spheres or even yellow or even white ones. And as we previously mentioned, they come in different sizes. The balls generally sit at 200 feet intervals from one another, although they may be closer together as you approach an airport. All of these details give a hint as to the purpose of these spherical additions to your local power lines. And there's one last ironic detail about them to consider. Supposedly, Winthrop Rockefeller looked out of the window of his plane and saw electrical cables right by the craft. That's enough to spook anyone. And, rightly, Rockefeller believed that these live wires should be made more conspicuous to pilots making their way toward the runway. So, the spheres started appearing as a warning to aviation professionals, stay away from the dangerous cables ahead. Pilots in other states didn't have the same warning system, at least, not as early as they had them in Arkansas. And in one case, it caused a disaster. At the tail end of the 1980s, Colorado officials began to install the balls across their state's famously rugged terrain, but they didn't do it quickly enough to prevent an accident over the South Platte River. In 1988 a news channel's helicopter collided with a thin steel cable that dangled 150 feet over the river. And, horrifically, that impact was enough to cause the vehicle to crash. There were casualties too, as a pair of journalists both sadly perished in the tragic incident. But even with that and other accidents logged, the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, can't make it a requirement for every state to hang the colorful balls on their live wires. Instead, the agency can only advocate that these warning symbols are used to protect overhead aircraft from fatal collisions. And, remarkably, it's not uncommon for helicopter pilots to collide with live wires. A 2003 report in FA Aviation News explained that they often hit the cables for any one of a number of issues. These include dirty windscreens, light conditions, and the obscuring effects of terrain and changes in visual perspective that occur during climb and descent. There are also certain places where you're more likely to see these spheres, which are known as visibility marker balls in the aviation field. They tend to dangle in spots where planes and helicopters often fly low, such as canyons, mountain passes and valleys, as well as over freeways and on the lead-up to airports. And the cables that zigzag across these areas have to be tagged with the visibility marker balls. Otherwise, as planes start to descend, their pilots may not be able to see the lines ahead. The FAA guidelines stipulate why the balls should come in certain sizes and colors too. As you may have already guessed, the spheres you see over lakes, rivers and canyons are extra large. The FAA stipulates that they be a minimum of 36 inches across, in fact. But those smaller markers, 20-inch balls, are deemed more than sufficient for power lines that are less than 50 feet in height. You'll see the size-down versions at the end of airport runways as well. <laughs>